Hey, what is up guys? Toasty Bros here, and we're here to bring you a U slash new budget PC for our friend Hunter over here. This is his first computer, and he doesn't really know too much about him, but we're going to teach him quite a bit today, and hopefully you guys will also learn along the way. So let's roll that intro. motherboard we have this 970 ASRock Extreme 3 motherboard. Um, it's a pretty awesome motherboard. It was used in my brother's system for a while and he got the most use out of it before he upgraded his CPU to Ryzen and for Hunter's sake with the games he's playing, the 6300, which is what we're going with, would be the best bet. And I know Jackson has a lot of experience with the 6300. This is actually a really good 6 core processor and it's AM3 so they're, they're pretty cheap now but um, it was obviously kind of free in our case. Because um, like I said, we're trying to keep it not too um, expensive. I think total, Hunter only had to spend like 170 bucks just for like the case, um, power supply, and what else? Do we, oh yeah, we got some LEDs for the case too because this, this case is kind of dark. Now this case is a DIY PC case. So this is a mirror one. I don't remember the model number off the top of my head, but you know, we'll put it in the video. Uh, you can see it has this like UV tinted clear panel. It's a full clear panel. Looks really cool. It's going to be blue. Alright, so for the rest of the core components, we have the legendary EVGA 430 watt power supply, the pretty much go-to budget one that we've used on this channel like a thousand times. There's not much else to explain about that. And then this hard drive actually has a very interesting story to it, which Jackson will be making a video on eventually of all the stuff that we got during our $100 PC in a day video. If you haven't seen that video, be sure to check it out. But this hard drive is a 500 gig hard drive. It'll do perfect for his system and all the games he really needs. And one of really, the six. And one of the the six that we got and if he really wants more he can always upgrade later down the line if he fills up the storage and for the graphics card this is a very interesting choice actually Matt knows all about this one so this one has been through a lot this is an r7 360 from xfx and it's a decent little graphics card it plays most basic games like rocket league csgo all the games that he's going to want to play at 1080p pretty much maxed out you really don't have to worry about um, changing the video quality or any of the games like that um, but it does come with two gigabytes of VRAM if I remember properly, and it should play pretty much anything he wants. And it plenty of display ports too. Plenty of ports out, and it only requires a six-pin power, so it'll be great for this little budget system that we have going on here. And I guess we're just going to get right to the build. I think that's everything. Alright, so Hunter is installing the I.O. cover. That's of course the first thing we want to do. He's never done this before. And I think it's uh, upside down. Yeah, it's very, it's very upside down. So you're gonna, there you go, turn it one way. I know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so Hunter's gonna go ahead and take the CPU heat sink off. And then he's going to take the RAM out. So we got everything on this new board, so we're going to go ahead and put it into the computer. Oh. 
So we hope you guys enjoyed this fun little build for Hunter. Did you enjoy building it? I enjoyed it. Was hard it a bit. lot. Was it hard at all you think or not too bad for your first time? Ooh. Well, depending on how many times you take out right. the computer. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Kind of like a recap. The graphics card was either dead or Matt said... I talked to Matt. He said it doesn't work in certain motherboards for some reason. I don't know why or maybe it's a graphics thing. And then the motherboard, I think, was just straight shot because we tried different graphics cards, we tried multiple things, and it's just pretty much dead. So, yeah, we got all the working stuff in here. We got Windows 10 on here for him. We already got Steam. We got some other stuff in there like Discord. So he's going to definitely be in some of our future upcoming videos, and he'll actually have his own computer to play on. And in our 12-hour live streams also, where we'll be playing some awesome games, and he'll finally get to join in. Mm -hmm. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video.